By the early 1970s, Topps was on a roll. Their baseball card sets every year were hot sellers among fans as eager collectors wanted to get their hands on the latest release. The biggest baseball card company in the world at the time, Topps gave the fans what they wanted. New players and new uniforms along with old favorites. And they did so while rolling out unique, distinct designs every year. Because Topps didn't have any competition, they could really explore the idea of a baseball card design. Even though they didn't have the pressure of competition to push their bottom line, they still found ways to reinvent the baseball card design to keep things fresh. Having already experimented with wood panel backgrounds and team pennants and various other interesting ideas, in 1971 they did something completely unexpected. The Black Border 1971 top set is one of the most unique card designs ever made. Nearly every card set in history prior to 71 had been made with a white or light color background to provide a nice border for the main design of the card. But the Black Border 71s flipped the script entirely. The solid black background of the card stands out among other designs at the time, and soon it became a distinctive set to add to Topps' already impressive history of cards. The only problem is the chipping. Because the black ink is in such contrast with the cardboard itself, any amount of chipping or wear on the coloring is very noticeable. The corners are usually the first to go, but the edges are also susceptible to chipping. This condition sensitivity makes the 71s usually very hard to find in high grades. Their design alone forces card graders to see every imperfection along the edges and surface of the card. You can see this in the pop report. According to PSA, there have been nearly 300,000 1971 Topps cards submitted for grading over the years. Of those, only around 9,000 have received a 9 or 10 on PSA's grading scale. That's only 3% of submissions getting a mint or gem mint grade. Compare that with the previous year Topps release in 1970. There have been over 230,000 of those cards submitted, with over 37,000 receiving a 9 or a 10. That's right around 16% of submissions receiving a mint or gem mint grade. And in 1969, over 41,000 cards from that year have received a 9 or a 10 out of 275,000 submitted. That's a 15% rate. The majority of 1971 Topps baseball cards submitted for grading received no higher than an 8 on PSA's scale, with most getting between a 6 or a 7. Of course, that makes the Mint and Gem Mint cards extremely valuable. In 2022, a Burt Blylevin PSA Gem Mint 10 sold for $138,000, and a Thurman Munson PSA 9 sold for nearly $200,000. But grading isn't everything. The visual appeal of the Black Border 1971 Topps cards is there, with or without the chipping. There's just something about it that looks cool. Most 71 collectors know, unless they want to break the bank, they have to live with a little wear and tear around the edges. It just comes with the territory. And the lineup of players is just too good to pass up. Pete Rose, Roberto Clemente, Willie Mays, Nolan Ryan, Hank Aaron. It's packed with stars and Hall of Famers. Topps obviously took a big risk with this set, even more than with their previous risks, like with the 62 and 68 sets. But condition issues aside, 1971 Topps continues to be one of the most valuable and desired baseball card sets ever made. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to our channel. We publish card history videos just like this one every week, along with other original content like our YouTube shorts, interviews with athletes and collectors, and more. We love telling stories about cards almost as much as we love cards. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it.